Hey everyone, it's Mr. Dan from Bernheim, and welcome to WOW! Wonders of Water! Today we're going to be talking about something very important if you're going to talk about water, and that is watersheds. Now what is a watershed? When I say watershed, sometimes people think about like a small building next to their house where they keep all their water. But that's not what I'm talking about. Do you have a pet at home? Is it cute and fluffy? When that cute and fluffy pet rubs itself against you to show you how much it loves, does it leave a little bit of fur on your legs? What do we call that? That's shedding. When we talk about a watershed, what we're talking about is where water sheds. Isn't that weird? Well, when we did WOGA, we talked a lot about how water is going through a cycle, evaporating, condensing, precipitating, but once that water goes down to the ground, it has to go somewhere, and where water goes is a watershed. So a watershed is a whole area of land that drains water down to one spot. In order to better understand that, let's make a mountain with our hands. Great. So what I want you to imagine is that it is going to rain on this mountain. Can you put your chin on top of your mountain? Oh, great. Now you're ready for school pictures. Now imagine that it's going to rain on this side of the mountain. What way is the water going to go? It's going to go that way. If it rains on this side of the mountain, you got it. It's going to go that way. So the important thing to realize is that water goes down. This top part of the mountain, we call it the divide because it divides which way the water goes. So now what we're going to do is we're going to make one side of a mountain here and one side of a mountain here and we'll put them together. Two sides of a mountain, what letter does that make? V for valley. Now put your chin where the water is going to go. Oh, this is pose two for school pictures. Eee! So the water is going to go down into the valley. The water is going to shed down. Now I'm coming to you live from Rock Run Creek. And where I'm standing, there's a hill on one side and a hill on the other side. Guess what? I'm standing right here where the water goes. So a watershed is not just a creek. It's the whole area of land that drains down to it as well. Now to better illustrate that fact, I have brought with me a super scientific, very expensive piece of equipment that I, I, didn't, I borrowed without permission from one of our researchers here at Bernheim. Okay, are you ready to see this expensive piece of equipment? All right, here it is. Huh? You don't seem impressed. Now, you might have been looking at this piece of equipment and said, Mr. Dan, that's just a funnel. But you know what? Watersheds kind of work like funnels. And this thing right here, if you saw that and thought that you saw a squirt bottle, you would be wrong. This is not a squirt bottle. This is a precipitation simulation illustration demonstration machine that is about to rain on the watershed. So what we're going to do is I'm going to make it rain on all of the different parts of the watershed and I want you to pay attention to where the water goes. So here we go. On this side of my watershed, when it rains, where's the water going? Oh, it's going down to my shoes. How about on this side? Oh, down? On this side? Down? What about over here? Oh, so no matter where it rains on my watershed, the water drains down to one spot. Well, let's think about it. I said that a watershed was a whole area of land that drains water down to one spot. A funnel drains all of the water down to one spot. So if you think about it, this part where all of the water is coming out, 
are the lakes, creeks, rivers, streams, and oceans that water sheds to on our planet Earth. But what would this top part of the funnel be? Hmm, let's think back to our hand mountains. Do you remember what we called that thing that divides which way the water goes? You've got it, a divide. The top of our funnel is the tops of the mountains and the hills that divide which direction the water goes. So really, whenever you're looking at the ground, you are looking at a watershed. Watersheds can be really big, like half of North America drains water into the Pacific Ocean and half drains it into the Atlantic Ocean. But watersheds can also be really small. Have you ever been on a playground and seen a puddle at the bottom of the slide? That's because all of the water drains down to the lowest parts of the playground. So when you're walking around and you see puddles, or you see lakes, or you see rivers, you're seeing the water in a watershed. And if you look all around, you'll see where that watershed came from. Well, thanks for tuning in to this episode of WOW! Wonders of Water. We'll see you next time.